The winner is Terminal Experiment by Robert J. Sawyer. Robert J. Sawyer was a semi-successful science fiction writer from Canada whose reputation got a huge boost after he won a Nebula Award last year for his book, Terminal Experiment. In Canada, the one big thing is you don't get respect until you've gotten recognition in the States. You can be a great artist in Canada, and everybody says, yeah, well, you know, to heck with him. He's just a little Canadian artist. And Terminal Experiment talks about some tough issues. There's stuff in there about the abortion issue. There's a lot of stuff about the conflict between religion and science in there. And none of that goes down easy. None of that is easy to write. But it's, I think, necessary that if you want people to take notice, you've got to try something a little bit risky. After Sawyer's first novel, Golden Fleece, was published in 1990, the ambitious 36-year-old began carving a niche for himself as Canada's only native-born, full-time science fiction writer. It always seemed natural to me that there would be all kinds of Canadian SF, but there isn't. There are people living in Canada writing SF that's either completely off Earth or uh, you set in the United States because I think it'll sell better that way. And I think it's important that, you know, if I lived in Minnesota or if I lived in Florida, I would be proud of that and I would be trying to reflect that. It happens that I live in Toronto, Canada, and I am proud of that and I do try to reflect that in the work. Sawyer's body of work isn't easily classified. Several of his books are fantasies set on a distant dinosaur empire. Terminal Experiment is a sci-fi mystery thriller and last year's Starplex is a sweeping space adventure. Yet, despite his refusal to write in a particular style, Sawyer makes one element a priority in all his work. One of the nicest reviews I had of, of Terminal Experiment was simply, this is what Michael Crichton would have written if he could also do characters. And, that, you know, that's kind of nice, because that's, I think, what I bring to the literary half of it as, as a fiction writer of books. Uh, is uh, a knack for characterization as well. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Sawyer spends much of the year writing at his home in Toronto, but he makes a concerted effort to get out and meet his readers as much as his schedule allows. It's one of the great joys of being a science fiction writer. There's almost no other kind of writer you can be where you can actually go and have a drink with just a guy who's a reader of your books. You know, any kind of writer can go and sign in a bookstore, but, and I've done that. That's very sterile. The SF writer gets to interact intimately with uh, the readers of his or her work, and that is one of the great, great joys of this profession. Starplex recently captured a Nebula nomination for Best Novel of 1996. And Sawyer's latest book, Frame Shift, is due out later this year. With all this activity, it's hard to believe that just a few years ago, this rising young sci-fi star was feeling discouraged about his career. I did have second thoughts about whether I'd be able to stay in science fiction. I was selling, but I wasn't a superstar author. I was winning, you know, small awards. The one thing this has done for me in this past year is made it absolutely clear that, uh, to take a phrase from Star Trek, my first best destiny is as a science fiction writer, and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my professional life. Yeah. <laughs>